Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos that give a basic introduction to vectors. And in particular, in this presentation, I'm going to do another example. Now, the example that I'm going to discuss with you today involves determining a point on a vector. So let me share my screen with you and uh, we can look at this example. Okay, so we are given two points, A and B, in the three-dimensional space. We're asked to do a couple of things. Firstly, we're asked to calculate the vector from the point A to the point B. And secondly, we're asked to determine the point D that lies between A and B, such that the vector AD is twice vector DB. Okay, so let me just draw a little diagram and um, show you what I mean. Okay, so we've got uh, point A, we've got some other point B, and we want to um, determine a point, say, D, such that the ratio of this line segment to this line segment is two to one, okay? In, in other words, the vector from A to D is twice as long as the vector from D to B, okay? So let's um, do the first part, which is the easy part, calculate the vector from A to B. Now, we know that essentially we can use position vectors to do this, and uh, a position vector for each of these points is just a vector from the origin to the given point. Okay, so vector AB is just position vector B minus position vector A. Now, if you don't like these lowercase uh, um, vector type notation, you can write it like this. Oops, OB. Okay, the vector from the origin to the point B minus the vector from the origin to the point A. Okay, so we write these as column vectors. Oh, sorry, we want B there, don't we? Let me fix it up. Eight, nine, sorry, it's a bit messy. Negative five minus this written as a column vector. 2, negative 3, and 1. Now we know that when we're doing addition or subtraction with uh, these um, vectors, you just work in a component-wise fashion. So the first component minus the first component gives me the first component of my answer, second component, third component, etc. So 9 minus negative 3 gives you 12, and negative 5 minus 1 gives you negative 6. All right, so that's the vector from this point to this point. All right, so the slightly trickier part of this example is determining the coordinates of this point D. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, th there's probably a number of ways of doing it, but um, we basically want the vector a AD to be twice the vector db. Okay, well, we can write that another way. Basically, we want the vector ad to be two-thirds of the vector ab. Okay? All right, so let's work out the vector ad. We don't know what, what x, y, and z is, but that's what we want to determine. Okay? And that's how I'm going to solve this, the, the, the second part of this problem. Okay, so again, using the position vectors. We'll have something like this. Now, OD, we don't know what that is. It's just X, Y, and Z. Minus OA, which is that. So if I write that as a column, I'll get 
x minus 2, y minus negative 3, and z minus 1. Okay. Now, AD is just two-thirds of the vector AB. Now, in part I, I already worked out the vector AB. Okay. So, from I, what we need to do is form an, uh, just write this equation in terms of these column vectors. So, that is going to be two-thirds of that. I know my z's look a little bit like 3's, but I apologise for that. That's a z, that's a 3. That's a z, that's a 3. Okay. Okay. So now what I want to do is basically that component's going to equal the, the first component after we multiply in, second component, and the second component, third component, and the third component. So let's see if I can simplify just by multiplying this through. So um, two-thirds of six is four, two-thirds of 12 is eight, and two-thirds of negative six is negative four. So that component equals that, that component equals that, Etc. So then I can rearrange and solve for x, y, and z. Okay, thus, what am I going to have? Well, x is going to be 6 y is going to be 5, and z is going to be negative 3. Okay. Now, how do I know... Uh, well, let's, let, let me write down the, the conclusion. d is just 6, 5, negative 3. Okay, so how do I know I'm right? Well, what I can do is check. What I'm trying to uh, come up with is the coordinates of D such that AD equals 2 times DB. Okay, so if that's my point D and that's my point A, AD is just going to be the position vector of D minus the position vector of A. So I won't um, repeat all the steps there. It's, so it's 6 minus 2, 5 minus negative 3, which is positive 8, negative 3 minus 1, which will be negative 4, uh, dB is going to be the position vector of D minus the position vector of B. So we're going to get negative... Uh, sorry, uh, we're going to get... that minus that, which is 2, 9 minus 5, which is 4, and negative 5 minus negative 3, which is negative 2. Okay, so you can see that AD is twice this vector. So we're happy. Okay. So that was a pretty straightforward example. The first part was very easy. The second part took a little bit more uh, muscle. So that's another reasonably elementary um, example using vectors. And um, in other presentations, I'll be continuing my uh, series of introductory vector uh, introductory. Uh, classes concerning vectors. I'm going to be doing more theory, more examples, and um, discussing uh, what's going on, of course. So I hope you can join me for more presentations in the future.